Greetings to all. Welcome to the channel Syntax05. In previous few videos, we seen how we can utilize 3D and CF data term as options. Earlier, we used the element and component options. Then we exported the massing for the ANSYS fluent as well as for the open form. But the all masses that we exported are belongs to one volume actually. We have multiple volume. Let's say here we have one type of volume. Here we have second type of volume. And they are interacting with each other. Or you may have this combination in radial direction or in any direction. So what we can do? Of course, you can go with the auto mass panel. Then we can create uh, massing for this section, massing for this section. Then we can generate the volume mass in this section differently, in this section differently. And likewise, you can proceed. But here we have uh, beautiful options. If we have such condition, 3D CFD term is again instead of element, I have to select here the component. Oh, sorry, solids. So this is my solid that I want to mass. But here we have few reasons. Those are not comes in boundary layer. Okay, these two surfaces and this intermediate surface also I have to select. Otherwise, software will generate boundary here let's say i'm not selecting that intermediate surface let me define this solid and surface only these two surfaces only then boundary layer parameter let's say five element five boundary layers of 0.5 thickness with growth rate of 1.2 then tetra mass parameter here 2d mass parameter are important because we don't have existing 2d element let's say mixed type of element you are trying to use and Element size of 2, 2.5, something like that, and just click on mass. So, one problem may arise. Let's see. Still proceeding. Yes, one problem may arise here. Volume 2, this volume 2 having some problem, okay? Fail to generate the element. So, why? Let me show you. Here we have few components, this CFD tetramass 1, then we have boundary layer 1, then CFD tetramass 2 and boundary layer 2 are not generated. Why? Let's check. Just hide the geometry, go with the mask options, select half of element and see. As I told, these two surfaces I selected not to generate any boundary layer. But this surface, because our solid is splitted from this region, and I not selected this particular surface to exclude boundary layer generation. That's why this problem is arises. One closed loop created here, and here no closed loop. Okay, that's why this problem is arises. So let me redefine these solid volumes. Let me eliminate my error. Delete the existing element, whatever existing element I have, 3D and tetra mass. Then again, oh sorry, CFD tetra mass. Then go to the boundary selection, select the solids. Then go with the surface. This surface I want to exclude to generate boundary layers. That means without boundary layer. This surface also and this intermediate surface also. It is very difficult to select intermediate surface directly. So, do not try to select even, just go to the mask options within the command only, okay. We are still in the same command. When I press escape, we are in the same command. So, within the command, mask options or you can press F5 key from the keyboard. Select the solid that you want to mask or hide. Now, go to the previous command by pressing escape and select this surface also. Now we have solids and these are the excluded surface. You can go with the unmask everything. Why we have this uh, D element? Let's delete those two D element. Okay. Still we are in the command. Okay. Solid and these three surfaces to exclude the boundary condition. Then we have to use the boundary layer parameter. Five layer I want to generate of thickness 0.6. 1.2 is fine growth rate you can choose any of the first layer thickness based on the 
y plus values and some fluid parameters okay then tetra mass parameter all fine then 2d mass parameter here 2d mass parameter are important because in the previous cases whatever component we had they are already meshed but this solids are not already meshed so what type of 2d element i want to generate next type of element i want to generate if you have curvature and proximity uh, features means small features and curvature features then you can utilize these two options element size approximated element size is 2 and now click on mesh so layer generated here you can see the message then volume 1 is meshed it is still in process then volume 2 solid 2 is in process here at the corner you can see yes now component is completely meshed beautifully okay you can see and you can also segregate those i am changing the color so you can segregate properly this is my volume 1 and relative boundary layer inflation layer this is my volume 2 and relative inflation layer so inflation layer are generated generated oh, sorry not the solid element only on the selected region okay so these three surfaces this was excluded this surface was excluded this was excluded to generate the boundary layer only this wall region here only the inflation layer or we can say the boundary layer is generated so very beautiful option this is and now let me create the different volumes so basically these are these two component are one volume these two component are belongs to one volume let's say in standard view let's say create and component left fluid this may be something and one is right fluid any name you can say one is inflow one is outflow and one is wall that's all and assume that is one is heat input heat input boundary condition okay so let me heady color auto color let me auto color so these all element tool and organize option shortcut key subtract 11 again these all element belongs to left volume left foot or this all volume belongs to right volume so element pipe collector now which one this one i think this one yes so name is cfd tetra core 001 and relative boundary layer these two are belongs to left fluid click on move similarly again element by collector these two elements means these two volume elements are belongs to right fluid click on move that's all now i don't need these component that generated by the software similarly some random mass is generated you can see some random mass is generated by the actually this is not random but uh, it is generated by the software to generate the volume okay so i can say this i not want so i can go with the delete those element also only these fluid domains i kept okay now if you want to keep this geometry you can keep or you can right click and delete no issue so left fluid element and then right fluid element but 
inflow outflow wall and heat input they are still blank okay so what you can do you can generate the faces using tool options and faces select the component or element okay let's say element and faces i want to generate find faces so one component with name of faces will be available with us actually again the same color so i recolor it auto color so it will be able to differentiate actually again organize shift f11 element hide the 2d element uh, 3d element because accidentally we don't want to select any 3d element element by face these elements are belongs to inflow click on move and these element by face belongs to wall okay these element by face belongs to let's say heat in heat input and these element belongs to by face belongs to let's say outflow outflow and move okay fine so now the faces component is not required go to delete and if you feel this color is uh, gray color is uh, not visible properly then you can change this gray color okay. so this is all we generated the volumes we generated the boundary conditions and now save the model and go to the export export cfd export options for fluent i want to export export options i have 2d or 3d model of course this is the 3d model then you have to select the file name let's say let's say fluent fluent file save most important point here we have interaction of two volume let me show you here we have interaction of two volume you not need to generate any interaction layer here okay software will automatically based on your boundary conditions say here we have inflow here we have outflow here we have wall and heat input then here we have these two volumes in different different component means two component are in different volume so software automatically generate interaction between them so no need to worry about the interaction so again showing this wall export make sure these, these geometry component are not visible export and click on export it will show one message to you and click on yes if anything problematic it will show now processing writing yes the file is successfully created case file is successfully created okay the same file I can export for the open form also CFD and instead of fluent go with the open form and here export options yeah this folder only and that one go for <coughs> export okay. let me open the fluent Tell I will show you the open form file. So this is the first folder. This is the second folder. Constant polymass, and here you have boundary options. Open with Notepad. Yes, inflow, outflow, wall, and heating. These four components you have. Okay. And in cell zone, now you will have two cell zone. Yes, two cell zone. One is left volume, 
um, I mean to say lack fluid and then I think I have to find control F yeah here it is lack fluid okay so you can define the name like uh, water and uh, diesel or anything else you can name according to your preference let me see the fluent file so 3d file and uh, double precision i'm taking for solver purpose so i'm not going to solve but still and these are asking for the root file and working directory i'm choosing all as a default or i can change it Here it is, two and five. So, working directory. This is my working directory. Okay, file and read case file. No, I don't know why it is taking too much time. Yes, one file and okay. So this is my file successfully imported with all boundary conditions. Here you can see okay fine and here you can see the set zone condition and boundary condition so this is my inlet and internal software created outflow and wall i have so that's all for the video tutorial of cfd massing in next upcoming videos we will see some advanced options and we will discuss on that thank you very much